Thái Huyền xin kính chào quý khán giả của đài VNTV. Kính thưa quý vị, Thái Huyền rất hân hạnh hôm nay được giới thiệu với quý vị một khuôn mặt đạo diễn rất sáng lạng, tuổi trẻ và tài cao. Cô vừa tốt nghiệp tại trường um, American Film Institute và hiện đang có hai bộ phim trình chiếu tại San Diego Asian Film Festival. Chúng tôi muốn nói đến cô Nadine Trường và sau đây xin mời quý vị um, gặp gỡ với cô Nadine Trường. Chào Nadine, how are you? Good, how are you? Xin chào quý vị. Um, Nadine, um, thì thường thường á, là uh, khi mà nói đến một người phụ nữ hoặc nói về nghệ thuật thì um, Thấy Huyền thấy là họ hay đi về phương hướng như là um, dancing, um, singing more into performing mm -hmm. but you are a filmmaker, director um, What made you um, want to go into uh, directing and filmmaking path? Uh, well, Nadine rất là thích uh, dance và hát và ca và painting và photography mm -hmm. and that cái, cái, cái medium film it, it combines all these different elements oh, so wow. um, it was the best choice for right. me yeah. you you're also a photographer huh? yes I am. do you have a website where people can go and then just um, look for more information about like what you are doing, like photography and mm -hmm. filmmaking? I do. Um, the website is like www.nadinedung.com The website is your film. Uh -huh. The website is uh, my photography work like photo.nadinedung.com Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Um, one of the movies that is screening right now mm -hmm. as the San Diego Asian Film Festival is like Egg Baby. Yeah. So, um, can you tell us more about that movie? Because I haven't gotten the chance to watch it and <laughs> the title seems very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Egg Baby is a uh, teenage coming of age comedy. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a young girl who is a Catholic, uh, who goes to a Catholic all go girls school, but she's Asian. Mm -hmm. And um, it's at a time where she is growing up from being a child to becoming a woman. And it, it's about yeah. first love and how to handle that at home with your parents. So it's yeah, a lot hard. of, you know, it, it's, it's very difficult or awkward to be at home and I think a lot of uh, people can relate to that right. going back to your yeah. childhood or That's right. you know, especially with the Asian culture and American culture yeah. right? a lot of yeah. differences um, so I know that you are really really into filmmaking so what really helped you um, like spark an idea like oh yeah like maybe when you walk um, take a walk along the beach mm -hmm. or when you have a cup of coffee are those like something that help you get an idea of what you want to do, like make a movie? It That can happen actually. Um, a lot of times uh, when I, um, I do a lot of photography and I also do photography of random people on the street. So I do observe people a lot and mm -hmm. it can be something so simple as a, um, a face. You know, the macro global and it inspires me to write a story about this person or wow. it can be a news article that I read that um, you know, the best tragic stories happen <laughs> in real life. That's right. um, a lot of times it can be a dream that I have. I, I'm a very vivid dreamer. Um, so that that wow. gives me a good basis for a scene or an image. Mm -hmm. So you work yeah. with American um, actors, actresses, mm -hmm. and Asian. So do you find anything different between the two since we have different cultures? Mm -hmm. um, no, um, no I, th I think when you want to be an actor and the people that I've worked with um, whether they're Asian or American or any other ethnicity they they work very hard mm -hmm. so the talent pool and the work ethics you know tend to be very uh, very much the same I see a difference in uh, experienced actors and non actors who are acting for the very first time but it doesn't mean that non actors don't have the talents to act right. they just need different kind of uh, direction in order to get the performance across. Right. Um, it's just a different language. It's a skill, it's something that you have to practice over and over again. Oh, so, I see. So that's where the difference is, mm -hmm. not, not between. Wow. So, um, since you, have you worked with any like um, Hollywood or um, directors who have um, who have been very, very experienced in the field? And if you have anyone who you really, really admire and you really, really want to meet? Um, I've never worked directly with, uh, with a Hollywood director. I, uh, when I went to school at the United Institute, my teachers were 
um, very experienced directors and writers. Uh, one of my mentors, for example, he, um, he had written the film to Walk the Thin Line, which um, mm -hmm. ended up being an Academy Award winning film. So he was, he was one of my teachers. Um, I have other teachers who are wonderful um, television directors right now. So I, they are very, very inspiring. But the person, like I, I get my inspiration, not necessarily inspiration, but I admire a lot of uh, film directors that... Who you have not? I've never met, so... Okay. Um, what would you ask that person when you were to meet that person? You know, I, I think I would not want to ask anything and I would just want to observe and oh, see how, okay. how they process the material and how they communicate with their crew and their actors. Wow. Um, I mean, you could tell me, like if I asked you how do you do it, mm -hmm. that person could probably tell me, but there's nothing better than to actually observe somebody. I guess this really goes with the lie, like silence is golden, yes. so you just sit there <laughs> and then you can observe, yeah. right? But yeah. you can learn a lot from that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have any future plans in terms of filmmaking? Yeah, I am. Um, I am working on my very first feature film right now. Um, hopefully, it will shoot at the beginning of this coming year, and oh. hopefully, it will be ready for next year's San Diego Asian Film Festival. Wow! Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, back to Egg Baby. Yeah. Um, so, what gave you the idea to make that movie? Is it just something that you have seen from people, something that you, you relate to? Um, actually, the idea was um, originally by somebody else. Mm -hmm. I have a co-writer for that particular film. Oh, right. um, and it was originally her idea. I can relate to it because I, um, I also went to an all-girls Catholic school when I was younger. Um, and I can relate to the awkwardness of growing up, and I think a lot of people can. <laughs> That's right. But. Um, yeah, it's just experiences of two writers fusing together into one project. Like a teamwork. Yeah, that's collaboration. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, say, if there's someone who um, really, really is interested in filmmaking mm -hmm. and come up to you and ask you for advice, what would you say to that person? I would say, well, first of all, if, mm -hmm. if you can help it, don't do filmmaking. But mm -hmm. if you have to because you love it so much and you can't do without art, mm -hmm. um, then just keep doing it. There's nothing better than to keep practicing it. Don't let people tell you that you, you, you don't let people tell you no. Just what do you think are the challenges that, um, like as being a director, mm -hmm. that you usually um, have or you you think you might have in the future like anything that um, might prevent you from making the movie that you really really want to um, well there are logistical challenges like budget it's mm -hmm. always hard to get money um, for these kinds of films but um, I think another thing is as an artist you are usually um, communicating your own opinion to an audience and that audience may or may not agree with your opinion but it's it's your opinion right. or it's your perspective on things. I'm sure there will be you know? someone who can relate to yeah. you. Cảm ơn Nadine rất là nhiều đã bỏ thời gian tới đây để mà chia sẻ uh, về những công việc của mình um, đối với quý khán giả của đài VNTV. Um, you are very young and talented and we wish you a lot, a lot of successes and hopefully that in the future we see more and more of your movies. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much.